Welcome back. Over the past 20 years, Finland has produced a host of champion rally car drivers. Names like Kankinen, Allen, Salonen and Altonen have been synonymous with the sport. Among these flying Finns is another who has won legendary status for his performances over almost two decades. This year, Ari Vartnen will race in Telecom's Rally Australia for the first time. Yes, he's absolutely fantastic. Vartnen has won almost everything there is to win in his colourful 18-year career. This week he passed through Sydney after competing in the Rally of New Zealand. He slowed down just long enough for Charles Stewart to catch up with him. These images of a man pushing his car to the absolute limit during the world-famous Pikes Peak hill climb have become familiar to us through a television commercial for Peugeot. This drive, by Ari Vartanen four years ago, has never been bettered. It's still the fastest time anyone has recorded on the climb to the 4,500 metre summit. It's all or nothing and uh, there is a lot at stake and uh, it gives the also real satisfaction if you, if you do get it right. And, if you do get it wrongly, I mean, you can get it very, very wrong. There are some corners where you see, where you see when, when the bank is on the inside and, uh, and the drop on the outside and you see nothing but blue sky in front of you because there are no barriers, there's just like, a, like if you were driving on the edge of the table and when the table finishes there's a drop and you can't help it, I mean, um, it is. Uh, but at the same time you uh, just try to concentrate on, a, not, to, not to look at that, just look at the road in front of you and, um, and try to get it right, but we are not superhumans, we are just as exposed to fear like anybody else. By comparison, after Pike's Peak, most forms of rally driving may seem tame. But for Vartanen, now competing in the World Championship Series in a turbocharged four-wheel drive Subaru, the thrill remains the same, even after 18 years at the top. I suppose we all want to excel at uh, something. And uh, when you have done a very good stage, you have uh, really left your brake on the last minute to each corner and been able to judge everything well and you have been uh, sliding through each corner the best possible way and, and, and uh, you really come to the end of the stage and you feel well nobody can drive any faster. I mean, surely that gives you pleasure. Of all the off-road events, perhaps a Paris-Dakar victory is worth more than any other. Three weeks, flat out across the world's most inhospitable desert, redefines the term endurance event. Most don't even finish, and some have even lost their lives. Out of 600 starters, maybe one in 10 will make Dakar. Four times, Ari Vatnen has come in first. When you cross Sahara, you go to places where normal tourists would never ever go. I mean, it automatically turns out to be not just a good competition, but uh, an adventure. You, you conquer something, you, you see a way of life you wouldn't see anywhere else. You have a, parameters are very open, you don't, uh, it's a complete uh, opposite to a circuit. You don't know yourself uh, really what you are putting yourself into. And you, don't only, you only know afterwards whether you draw well or not, because um, at the time you, you don't exactly know what is a good, good speed because the road is so unpredictable, or road, or terrain is unpredictable. It just has, uh, has been a real eye-opener for me. There are thousands of reasons why people don't complete rallies, but most go out through mechanical failure or crashes. In the 1988 Paris-Dakar, Vartanen failed for a most unusual reason. My car was uh, stolen in the early hours of morning, in fact, about six o'clock in the morning. Lots of people actually saw it being driven out of the parking place where the cars were and we, everybody thought it's one of our mechanics and only after a little while they realized well uh, who who has gone out in this car and, and somebody just stole it and it has remained a mystery who who did it and why and we found it a few hours later but then we never were able to take our start on a due time so 
we were able to drive to Dakar, still leading by a couple of hours, but day before getting to Dakar, we were then physically disqualified and couldn't quite make it. But it makes a good story for my grandchildren when I'm in a rocking chair. Why on earth would anyone want to steal a rally car in the middle of the Sahara Desert? That really uh, makes one to wonder. Maybe it was a result of a good bet. I can only think that. A drunken, maybe a drunken Finn was there, I don't know. Ari Vartanen has won almost everything there is to win in rallying. He's won 10 World Championship events, including the Kenyan Safari Rally and Monte Carlo. He's also won the Drivers' World Championship title. His skill is so great, some describe his car handling abilities as artistic. But in spite of it all, his career was nearly ended by an horrific accident that nearly killed him during the Argentinian Rally in 1985. It took him 18 months to recover, but his success since then seems to show the brush with death has done nothing to lessen his ability. It's all about the confidence. It's all at the end of the day, it's between the years. I mean, I saw, I'm sure the basic skills of the top drivers, they are about the same. It's just whoever is uh, riding on a wave of confidence, he is always the best. And when you are very confident, you're always the safest because then you concentrate on the job and you exclude everything else. You rule out the possibility of accident. It doesn't cross your mind. And then you are not going to have an accident. So far this season, Vartanen has not figured in the results. In the three events he's contested in the new car, crashes and mechanical failures have ended his rallies. However, he knows that that's the nature of his sport, and he enjoys it too much to let things like that depress him. I'm sure I will have a better results, and uh, even if I don't, it's not the end of the world. I give it, uh, I give it a good shot, I try my best, and uh, I enjoy it in the meantime. <laughs>